Number 7 reads, Points Q and R are the endpoints of a diameter of a circle centered at P. Line L is tangent to the circle at S. What is the y-intercept of line L? So first, we would draw a picture. And plot your points. negative 1, we have R, and at 13, 11, we have point Q. And at 19.11 is point S. And it also tells you that P is the center of the circle, which would be the midpoint between Q and R. So you have this formula for a midpoint. which would mean P is equal to 19 plus 13 over 2, comma, negative 1 plus 11 over 2, which means point P, which is the center of your circle, is 16, 5. And then I would plot that. Then you can draw your circle. And we want to find what is the y-intercept of the line L, which goes through the tangent point of S at 1911. So we want to find this point right here. And we know that any point on the edge of a circle that is tangent forms a right angle. So then that means that the slope of the line PS would be equal to the opposite reciprocal of the slope of L or the, the slope of L would be equal to the opposite reciprocal of the slope of PX. So first we need to find the slope of PS, which would be equal to the formula Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, which means the slope of PS would be 19 or 11 minus 5 over 19 minus 6 which would be equal to 2. That means that the slope of line L would be equal to the negative 1 half. So if we have the slope of a line And we have a point on the line, which we do, which would be point S, 1911. Then we can make an equation to the line, y minus 11 is equal to negative half times by x minus 19. And we want to find when x is 0. So then that means y is equal to 19 over 2 plus 11 over 1, so you need to get a common denominator so that you can add and you get the y-intercept to equal 41 over 2.